is there in him Is there an empty? 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 Is there In this cold Is there an empty? The whole life. Bottom line. For me on Nate Robinson, I love to watch him play. I would not want him on my team. He has been on four teams in three years for a reason. Money, money. For a reason, not just money. He is difficult to coach because he's got a huge heart, but it pumps mostly for Nate. He is going to come in and he is going to shoot it. And he is a little man. Even though he plays hard on defense, he can be something of a defensive liability. I loved every minute of being in Chicago. I love the fans for always supporting the Bulls and supporting me as well. And uh, just having that faith and that love. It was great. I had a great experience. The team, my teammates were unbelievable. They were great. You know, they had my back no matter what. You know, they loved me as a person. They didn't care what other people said about me. They just loved who Nate Robinson was. Yeah, man. <laughs> Stay the Nate, brother. Get the camera out my face. Yeah, get them 30 inch doves down there. Them doves, special spades. They not 30. They, they 18, but I keep them clean, though. It was a humble experience as well, and it just really showed me that uh, with belief in myself and in God and my teammates that uh, you can do anything. And when you play as hard as you, you can for as long as you can throughout of a season and continue to. Uh, spark the crowd and give them energy and give your teammates energy and believe that you know what we have in this room is all we got. Uh, switch by Humphrey. Oh, puts a move on Humphrey's head. Oh, offense. Oh, offense. Oh, what a move. A Rod Williams. He's got a little dang. Heinrich tonight is Robinson. Fourth. Robinson for three. Yes. Nice strip and stolen. Here comes Nate Robinson like a little rocket. The pull up is good. Again without Luol Dang and Kurt Heinrich tonight is Robinson. Fourth. Oh! oh he loves this part of the game. Oh, he just the same in the game. He loves it. Nate drives, got the And Nate Robinson just pressuring Curry. And this gets him an easy way up. Led by as many as 17. Bulls took over. Late third quarter. Led by as many as nine of the fourth. Here's oh, Robinson. Oh, nice move. Yes. Led by Williams. Backed it up. Got the step. Through the foul. Oh, Robinson against Curry, darts in, fall away jumper, bang! Oh. In the fourth. Robinson's putting behind the back. Goes for the crossover. Hey, Robinson, uh, three seconds difference on the clock. Uh, Nate fires. And Robinson pulls the trigger on another. Th three on the shot clock, three on the way. Way out, Ellis. Wow. To Bellinelli, Nate Robinson. Oh. This was his trailing hit. Robinson for three. Away by Wade, away by Wade. Here's James, drives past Bellinelli. Blocked from behind by Robinson. And then a foul call. Wade. Oh, my goodness. Did you see Nate Robinson? There he is, Nate Robinson. Oh, no. Reverse. Oh, I see a crossover reverse. Oh, my goodness.
Oh, what a duck under move by Robbins. He went between his legs. Unreal move. Oh. Did he jump over? He jumped right over Dave Robinson, and Robinson goes in for the layup. Oh, my leg. See, that's the advantage of a small guy. Over that. We have three ones. We're on our way to Brooklyn. And close it out. Day to day. Episode playoff. Over that. Seconds, final seconds. Oh, he has. Watson not able to get to it. Robinson pulls it up. Where this series. Robinson got the step. Banging it off the glass. Nate Robinson in front of Robinson on the drive. He really changed everything. Here's Robinson for the He's cut it to nine. Here's Robinson. Robinson. He's up a hot hand. Chased by Watson. He went for the steal. Robinson gets it off. Watson got picked off. Here's Robinson. By just nine. Here's Robinson. He's on fire. Here's Robinson. Remaining in overtime. That's up by two. Robinson finding space of Robinson. We're down to five, sir. The biggest moment of your life, Nate. Robinson. With a running one hand, he hits it with 1.7 remaining. Timeout, Brooklyn. How did it feel? Like, what was it all like when all of a sudden the season's over? You played so well, you did so many great things, and then just not being able to go back to that situation. Uh, I didn't know. I, I wasn't. I didn't know if I was gonna go back to Chicago or be anywhere. I just was like, I'm gonna let God deal with everything and my agents and hopefully my play showed, you know, I showed the world what I could do with valuable minutes and you know, with, you know, stepping in for a guy, uh, Kirk Heinrich and Derrick Rose when they were out. And I felt like I did my part. It just, you know, felt like, uh, I felt like, you know, they abandoned me once again. I was once again abandoned by another team that, you know, didn't, that I did. You know, I did everything they asked, and it wasn't, it still wasn't good enough. But that's a, that's been the story of my career. I understand that Nate Robinson, in some people's eyes, have been problematic in the past. I got news for you. I got one problem with Nate Robinson throughout his entire career. The fact that it took him 13 or 14 dunks, yeah. you know, and he shouldn't have beat Andre Iguodala in that dunk contest. That is the only problem I have ever had with this kid. This dude should be in a New York Knicks uh, uniform. We're in Vegas out here, meeting with teams, trying to discuss the whereabouts and, you know, prices and can I fit here in the team there, you know. But that is a mistake by the New York Knicks. And I dare say it's a mistake by the Chicago Bulls. And I dare say it's a mistake by most NFL teams not to have a Nate Robinson on your squad. He comes with energy and fervor. He brings it. He's got a lot of heart. He's not scared of anybody. He doesn't shy away from the big moments. Just ask the Brooklyn Nets what he can do to you. They'll tell you, this, this, little, this little dude can ball. And I think he's far more of an asset to any team mm. than he is a liability. But uh, came to see my young guys, Tony Rowe, uh, Terrence Ross, Marcus Teague, uh, Malcolm Thomas, you know, the guys on the board, my, my, uh, my ex teammates. But um, right now we're playing some pool, my agents. Hotel sweep. And I am about to kick TJ's butt in the game of pool. Ooh! Crossing over all the grip. Crossing over everybody. Watch this. Cross over this. Ooh! Right, right here, right here. Ooh! Fire spin move. Woo. But going to Vegas, sitting down, having lunch with you know Denver Nugget and Coach Shaw, 
and their staff. It was great, man. We had a great meeting, and here I am now. Nate Robinson has agreed to a two-year deal with the Nuggets. According to ESPN and media reports, Robinson averaged just over 13 points and four assists with the Bulls last season. Stephen A., good move for Nate. This dude can play. This little dynamo right here is an energizer bunny. He works hard. I understand, you know, that when he was in New York, he got on James Dolan's nerves, you know, at the entourage or so, and it just didn't do things the way Dolan wanted him to do it. And he brings the kid in the game out in him, and it galvanizes guys around him. I think a lot should be said about that. I'm not saying he's perfect, but Nate Robinson, to me, has gotten a bad rap. It really has. I don't like that. If he were as good or as great as you're making a case for, he'd still be a Chicago Bull. They would have figured it out. No, that's money. You've got you're you locked in with Kirk Heinrich. You've got Derrick Rose coming exactly. back. You've got you you just got, got Mike so Dunley V Jr. You got a whole bunch of stuff. Skip, come on, man. This NBA climate with that luxury tax being far more punitive. Skip, that's money. Nobody do this in the air. Hey, you get to see me. Me and my real element. You doing good? Up here? My legend did. As you can see, all the hardest thing I've ever did in my life. They show up here. Not doing that, just showing up. Showing up is hard enough. It's not the battle. So for the Knicks, that one year, I, he, well, you were around, obviously. He averaged 7.2 points a game. That's pretty good. Next year, midseason, he gets traded because you know, in like you said, Dolan. Dan Tony put that man in the doghouse and bitch. With that scrub Nick team I, they I had, it. they yep. benched this man for about 30 games. I man. remember. That don't make any sense. Okay, and I've heard lots of stories about how he kind of lives in his own little world, and he's he more about Nate than about team, okay? In fairness to him, we look at everybody else and we talk about the growth and maturation process. Did you see him during that playoff series against Miami? Did you see him rallying those guys together? Did you see him try to keep guys pumped up? Did you see him going out there and giving that maximum effort? I didn't see selfishness then. I saw a teammate. I saw a guy that was willing that lets you know if you want to go to war and we're wearing the same uniform, figuratively speaking, we're going to talk about war. But if you, want, if you want that type of confrontation, I got your back. I'm right here by your side. Okay. And I understand there could be headaches that come along with it. Yes. But I feel the plus is far away to minuses. And I think I, I'm willing to go as far as to say this. This uh, I cover the NBA. And I know a lot, a whole lot of knuckleheads far worse than Nate Robinson. This dude gets a bad rap. And people are messing with him and messing with his money because of it. And I don't like it. He doesn't deserve it. Most of the dudes in the league can't shine his shoes. They don't give his effort. They don't give his energy. They don't have his heart. They don't play as well as he's playing. I'm not saying he's perfect, but the kid can play.